This video introduces the paper titled Continuous Sign Language Recognition with Correlation Network. The authors include Lian Yu Hu, Li Qinggao, Zhe Kang Liu, Wei Feng from Tianjin University, China. We first briefly introduce our method. As sign language is mainly conveyed by both hands and face, the trajectories of these body parts are silent cue to identify sign language. However, current methods usually process each frame independently and fail to capture cross-frame trajectories to understand signs. To handle the bar limitations, we propose a correlation model to compute cross-frame trajectories and an identification model to identify important spatial regions. The following visualization shows that our method is able to capture human body trajectories thus enabling better understanding the sign language. We next introduce our paper in detail. As shown in the picture below, sign language is mainly conveyed by both hands and face. Thus, it's beneficial to capture trajectories of hands and face to understand the sign language. However, input frames are usually individually processed by a shared 2D CNN thus inhibited to identify and leverage cross-frame trajectories to understand a sign. To handle the bar limitations, we propose a correlation model to compute cross-frame trajectories and an identification model to identify important spatial regions, as shown in the figure. These two models are concurrently placed after each stage in the feature extractor, whose features are added to mix information. We first introduce our correlation model. For a piece of PIG in the frame XT, we multiply it with another piece of PI apostrophe J apostrophe in the adjacent frame XT plus one and sum along the channel dimension to compute the correlation map A in equation one. The neighboring piece of PI apostrophe J apostrophe is usually restricted within a K times K region. We then pass the correlation map A through a sigmoid function and subtract it from 0 0.5 to emphasize information regions with positive values and surprise redundant areas with negative values in caution 2. Next, we aggregate beneficial information from xt plus 1 using A in caution 3. Finally, we can compute the correlations from both past and future frames in caution 4 with beta denoting a learnable parameter. We then introduce our identification model. To identify which region is important in cross-frame trajectories, we usually use a large convolution to capture local features. However, this may bring heavy computational costs. We thus use a multi-scale architecture consisting of NS times NT parallel small convolutions with increasing spatial and temporal dilations. Features from different branches are added to mix information. The convolution in each branch is depth-wise conducted with a reduced intermediate channel to minimize computations. In this case, we can increase the model capacity with reduced computations. We next verify the effectiveness of the proposed correlation model and identification model respectively. What error rate is used as the evaluation metric? The lower the error rate, the better. The left table shows that increasing the articulated area K of correlation model consistently brings better performance. The right table shows that either increasing NS or ND would bring considerable accuracy boost, verifying the effectiveness of the proposed multi-scale aggregation architecture. We compare the performance of our method against other state-of-the-art methods on four large-scale data sites. Our method achieves new state-of-the-art results. We finally visualize the correlation maps of our proposed method. It's observed that our method is able to capture human body trajectories to help understand the sign language. Thanks for your for watching.